In the 1990 season, I went to almost every game. I think there was 40 games, home games, and I went to like 31 of them, because you could buy tickets at 7-Eleven for seven bucks. So I'd always buy the nosebleed ones and then go sit in, like, in the high up in the stands. And they had this great team with like all these very um, technically gifted players. They had, they had Sean Cronin, Cronin the Barbarian, who was like the, the highlight of the city. Everyone loved him. Now Cronin, Cronin. And Stern. Oh, Cronin boy. And Stern. This will be a good one. This will be a good one. Boy, Stern's got his hands full here. The Stern's is tough, though. <laughs> Not that tough. Cronin is so strong. This guy will challenge anybody. He knows his role. And they made it to the first round against the Oilers in the playoffs, and it was huge. And they ended up going up on the Oilers three games to one on this awesome uh, overtime goal by Dave Ellett. I was in college at the time, and I remember I had to stay up probably till about, I don't know, maybe 12, 31 o'clock to see it, and when he scored, it was just like the biggest moment in Jets history, I think. And the Winnipeg Jets are one win away from knocking off the Edmonton Oilers in this fight division semifinal. And then they lost three games to two, and then they lost again, make it three games to three, and then in the seventh game, they ended up losing. I remember Yari Curley went up the side and took the shot and scored the goal. Here's Yari And I was so mad. And I remember thinking, like, before game six, which I believe was in Winnipeg, I said, I want to, like, hide in the bushes with a crowbar. And when Messier gets off the team bus to go inside the arena, I want to whack him in the shins with it. Messier moving in. Backhander, he scores! Messier trailing on the play to Messier scores! But yeah, they lost uh, four games to three. I remember so, so angry, so sad, so pissed off. I was like, I was recording the game. And then when they lost, they took the, the VHS tape and just chucked it across the, across the street and smashed it on the wall. The Edmonton Oilers know that they could just as easily have been the vanquished as the victors. No one picked the eight Winnipeg Jets to even make the playoffs this year, let alone go this far and come this close to knocking off the Edmonton Oilers. That was like the, the, like the best Jets moment and the worst Jets moment. It was never the same for me after that.